So here we are. This is a QA and a about fermented foods. Uh, we're here with the wonderful April Danan. April's a kind of like a really magical lady that uh, is, is queen of fermentation. She is the fermenter. Uh, so we put a question up on Instagram there maybe two hours ago and got a few questions. So we're going to do our best to answer them all here now. Uh, so here we are. Question one from Far Farah Kelleher. Thank you for your question. What are the main benefits of fermented foods? What is the best way to introduce it into your everyday life? Wow. Oh, oh, you like okay. So the main benefits of fermented foods is that it's a probiotic. It's a living food. So you're getting something full of... You know, wonderful probiotics into your tummy. Most of us are depleted in probiotics, but if you want to think about fermenting foods, like you're you're getting a, a healthy, concentrated dose of vegetables as well or fruit into your diet. And what are the best ways to introduce them? Uh, just eat them, <laughs> but put them on the side, put them in a wrap, um, introduce them and in, slowly. In terms of probiotics, yeah. so yeah. many people when they get sick they're taking antibiotics and they're always recommended the dose to kind of go against antibiotics is probiotics. So yes. probiotics is wonderful it's in this regard of fermented foods just to life. promote yep. kind of bacteria in your stomach and yep. your stomach is kind of, the, kind of one of the main centers for your immune yep. system. But the irony too is that whatever's in your stomach will grow on your skin and throughout your body. So you're starting with your, with your mouth, you're reintroducing, you're rebalancing and regulating your immune system and all your body, your digestive systems through the introduction of these living foods. Brilliant. Wow. That's in a pretty Go serious. fermented foods. <laughs> so it's really, so it's really, you eat fermented foods and they go into my gut and I digest them and they're fantastic for building up healthy bacteria to Absolutely. help me digest. Am I right? In? And, and that's going to improve your immune system. And things magically start improve working better system. over a period of time. More energy. Mm -hmm. All yeah, these just kind of things. all those loveliness. All, all well, really immune benefits. system, it builds up my immune system. Yeah. Isn't that well, the main your, your thing? Amazing. Well, your gut is the mediator of your immune system, so it's really important. Oh, I've got a question, I've got a question. Wait, 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 let oh, me... Oh, no, i got one, i got okay, one. Okay. Uh, so, so I've often read or heard that they say there's the same amount of nerve endings in your gut as there is in your brain. Absolutely, so, I would agree. So that's why the gut, you know, people yeah. say, that's my gut instinct, or, oh, jeez, I, I just feel it in my gut, I don't know. Yeah. Is that the case? It is the case, absolutely. So you, uh, there's books out there called Gut Psychology, and, and wow. uh, that's what that's all Good about. Good gut psychology. <laughs> uh, uh, you're, you're thinking with your tummy as much as, as you are with the rest of your body. So it's this is like brain. food to feed your gut. It so it's like does. food to feed your gut instinct. Yeah, it feeds your that's gut instinct. Yeah, you, <laughs> your tummy there starts you <laughs> There you go. This is like gut food to feed your gut instinct. Yes! Amazing. Okay, next question. This is from Ainsley Cross. Thank you for the question. The question, Ainsley, how can you add fermented foods into your meals and what do they go well with? Oh, good one. So two main ways just to quickly, just to put a, a precursor to that one. You can eat them or you can drink them. You can eat them, <laughs> you can drink them, you can bake them. You like can bathe in them. Yeah, and you, you can, can bathe in them, you can't can, you? Absolutely. Yeah. You can rinse your hair in apple cider vinegar. You can put it on your skin. So you can take it internally, you can use it externally. So if I've got, if I've got like dried scalp or if yeah. I've got dandruff Even if like you this. just want shiny hair. So wow. if you use what, an apple cider vinegar rinse once a week, it's lovely for and your And that hair. would be any kind of apple cider vinegar that... Dilute it. Dilute it down. So you do a, a tiny bit, just two or three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar diluted with water and just throw it over your hair, rinse it off after a minute. But once a week, it's really good for your scalp, no and matter any, what's going on. Any yeah. kind of unfiltered, unpasteurized apple cider vinegar, just that I get in a health food shop. Absolutely. That contains the Absolutely. mother. Absolutely. And yes. it's also wonderful health tonic for arthritis. Our, this mm -hmm. is apple cider vinegar we're talking about. Also great for, I know, a good friend, Shiv, she had kind of sore legs, and immediately from taking apple cider vinegar, it just really? it went Within away. Within a couple so, of days. Mm -hmm. So week, amazing substance. Uh, other things like sauerkraut, great to put on kind of sandwiches in wraps. You know, yeah. we've done a video there on kimchi. That's like a real spicy wonderful and goes really well with Asian food. You could try ginger age, kombucha, kombucha. you could kefir. do sourdough bread, There's, yeah. There's a world of fermented foods out there and as I've heard lots of people say, fermented foods a forgotten food group. Yeah, exactly, absolutely. But, but the number one thing is just get started. Try one of them, get going with it, get eating it, then try another one. It's like just take a step, play, yeah. get start started. With it, start with it in a sandwich with your sauerkraut. Yeah. Brilliant, you get it in most supermarkets. Because yeah. it's and nice, the yeah. kind of like it's like a pickle, it really, it, it's a different kind of It food adds group, a dimension to your food yeah. and to your meal that, that is missing, is the, from, is the forgotten food. And a wonderful flavour, wonderful flavour. Yeah. I hope that answers your question, Ainsley. Yeah. Uh, next question, Magnus Mangrude. Thanks a million for the question. I like the soup, Magnus, looking good in the image. Does fermenting the food have any negative benefits? For example, does it affect the nutritional level of the food or something like that? And by the way, love your channel. Thanks, Magnus. Thanks a million. Yeah. 
Negative benefits. Well, the only uh, drawback. Neg negative benefits. That's negative. Sense. Negative. Uh, well, well, we got negative benefits or negative effects. Negative, negative effects. effects. Okay. okay. So negative effects in that uh, for some people, if your tummy is a bit dodgy, start slowly. Okay. So start slowly with and and just a tablespoon goes a long way. You don't need so to sit and eat a jar. Of, that'd be of like if I have weak digestion or yep. I have. Yep. Bowel problems or that type absolutely. of thing. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, and one absolutely. of the kind of side effects is that if you eat too much too quick, you can have quick evacuation. Yeah. Where's the toilet? <laughs> you know. It'll go through you. Yeah, it'll go through you. And same yeah. way, when you're not used to kind of drinking these kind of lovely fermenty beverages, yeah. if you do drink too much, you suddenly will get a real need to go to the toilet uh, a lot of times. That's, that's the only way you're going to know you've drank too much because otherwise it's really, it's a case of it's get very, stuck in. Yeah. And it's very gentle. It's gentle. It's food. So it's it's yeah. not, it's not you know, any anything stronger than that. It's uh, it's just food. And you, you said to me yesterday that when you, were si when you feel like a flu coming on or you feel cold or that kind of thing, mm -hmm. you'll often carry a bottle of your own apple cider vinegar around with you mm -hmm. and just slowly sip away with it and you might drink half a bottle over a day Absolutely. and you find yeah. that's one of the best ways to build up your immune system yeah. and really mm -hmm. you know just combat re rebalance re yeah system. rebalance because yeah. it's so alkaline it's naturally mm -hmm. balancing isn't it and all of these in general are considered alkaline foods most of us are very acidic from stress and from, from the wrong diets and, and and whatever so this is this is just gently bringing us back into the, the spectrum of alkaline brilliant yeah. really good Hope that answers your question, Magnus. But besides that, there's virtually no negative benefits. The only one is ODing on it. You know, yeah. taking too much of it. And, oh, and you're not going to OD if you just go a little at a time and just kind of start and slowly start getting stuck into this stuff. Uh, last question was from Just Shilps. Nice one. Oh, cool name. Uh, do you have a recipe for vegan kim kimchi? Yes, we just shot a video of it. Uh, instead of using fish sauce, we're using tamari. Really easy to make. Uh, recipe vid is coming soon. Uh, any other? Well, any closing and you can do all of this is it can be vegan all of this so so you don't have to add anything you don't we're not making uh, adding milk or whey or anything like that it's just water and fruit and vegetables a little bit of salt and that's it that's Brilliant. it a little bit of sugar okay i got a couple of questions for you first one what's your favorite thing to ferment vinegar vinegar, vinegar. you're all about the vinegar I apple cider and it. rumor has it apple cider rumor vinegar. has it you're mm -hmm. one of the few people probably the only person in ireland that has has their own mother a west cork absolutely. mother absolutely and that absolutely. refers to the mother culture that's not just <laughs> physical like that's the mother yeah. culture can you yes. tell us can you yeah. tell us your, your one minute story about how you did that oh so years ago i couldn't find a mother or i i could find a mother i didn't want somebody else's mother i wanted an irish mother so i developed it i actually put little jars in trees in west cork and attracted vinegar flies. Long story short, after a period of time, the, the water turned into vinegar, and, and then I started filtering it off and teasing out over a period of months. Because right, you're a microbiologist, mother. so that's... That's my background, this yeah, clay. With, with food and food science. Yeah. Wow. Absolutely. So we have, I have a, um, a beautiful uh, apple cider vinegar so, mother. So just in case anyone out there doesn't really know, the mother refers to the kind of... It's a, a scoby, and a scoby. scoby stands for... A symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast. Okay, wow. so that's, yeah. that's the bit. You know the way if you get a bottle of vinegar, such as Bragg's apple cider vinegar, and there's a bit of kind of sediment in it, or a bit of like stringy kind of stuff in it. Stuff. Yeah. Kind of mucusy, it looks almost like so, ligament, mm. that kind of stuff. That's the mother, and that's, yeah. that's where the action's at. Like That's, mm -hmm. that's the gold. That yeah. it, is, it is. It's kind of like the seed, and everything comes from it that. Is. And that's known as the scoby. Yeah. Like, there's a shot of it there. Shawnee will get a pick up there afterwards, just of what a what the mother looks like. Yeah. It's the living portion of your your uh, your ferment is the mother. Okay, yeah. so another question for you. Uh, fermented foods are living foods, isn't that they right? They are, they are living, as opposed to raw foods, which are not always living. Yeah. Now mostly, uh, we're, we're hoping that raw foods are, are alive, but what we're doing is we're taking the food and we're changing its character or bringing out it, its character and, um, and sort of I guess like alchemy. I call it food alchemy in in West Cork. That's my. It my, really is kind of an element of witchcraft and just is. that. It is. It's an alchemy. So you're changing the nature of it, and you're taking all the goodness and bringing it out. You're enhancing it and amplifying it, which is what I is what we're hoping to do with all of this. Yeah. Brilliant. Wow. Really magical. Yeah. Um, there you are. Big thanks to That's April. Fermented food. You know, we've done it. We, we've done a fermented food series with April, where we've made a sauerkraut, a kimchi, and the fermented a, lemonade. And a fermented lemonade. Really fantastic things. From our experience, we can't recommend it more. Like they're such a good fermented thing to foods. Be eating. A forgotten food group. So healthy. So important for good health. Many of us are, are struggling with guts and just absorption and digestion and this I is think total really, remedy i think it really is it's like the epicenter of your health as you said yeah. it's like the heart of your immune system mm -hmm. so 
I think fermented foods is such a wonderful, amazing thing. And April is absolutely our hero. She's amazing, and her whole life is really about fermentation. Really, yeah, live the to fermented ferment. family is there. <laughs> <laughs> and and if you're lucky enough, if you're ever in West Cork, April has a market stall in Skibbereen where she sells her rebel foods. Yeah. Um, and check her out. She's got so much cool stuff. She's on Twitter, Instagram, yeah. Facebook, Facebook, yeah. and I'm and sure blogs. she'll be on other yeah. ones and yeah. blogs and everything. So. Yeah. Um, Thanks for happy watching. Happy fermenting, really. Cool. Thanks Bye. for watching. Cheers. Bye. Cheers.